Hey guys, welcome to the Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about if you are not able to crack the automation interview, what are the top 10 reasons for it? This video is very, very important for the freshers who want to directly jump into the automation industry, or if you're a manual tester who is jumping into the automation, right? If you're trying to give any interview, what are the different mistakes that you are making, and what are the different mistakes that I have personally made? In this video, I'm going to discuss about all of them. This video disclaimer guide, make sure you watch in 1.2x or 1.5x, which is comfortable and complete till the end because this video contains lots of important tips and my 10 years of experience basically i have put it down into this 10 important points all right guys in this video i am going to be a little truthful in nature where i will discuss about what are the different mistakes that you guys are basically making. okay so reason number one is basically you are not followed a proper roadmap to become an automation tester this is what i have seen very very major mistake these guys are doing what exactly it is promote please explain me that what kind of roadmap that i have not followed let me tell you like how i have started so when i was a manual tester in one of the mnc right i think i have talked about it right in one of the mnc i was there for one and a half year then i basically learned about the api testing so manual to api then api to automation so what i did is i have followed a particular roadmap roadmap basically contains all kinds of a different concepts i'm gonna paste the link right now how this roadmap looks like so you have to basically follow a particular roadmap where you should know what are the different technologies that you should know to become an automation tester. So if we talk about high level, you know, when you want to learn about the automation concept, right? You should be well aware about programming languages, Selenium basic, Selenium advanced, Git related things, Jenkins, Docker related things, how you're running your automation on your Selenium grid, Jenkins, in Jenkins also freestyle jobs, pipeline, all the things and all that proper roadmap is already given. I've shared on the previous videos also. Make sure you follow that. So follow a proper roadmap. This is one of the reasons that you are not able to crack the interviews also because you have missed the proper topics. Second reason is that you have missed the correct sequence of a topics also. I mean, many topics where I've seen you are uh, basically jumping into the automation interview and you are not basically aware about the basic Selenium, advanced Selenium, right? For example, you basically mentioned in your resume that I have basically worked on a Selenium project. But when someone asks you question related to drag and drop action classes, then you are not aware of it because the concept you have not followed properly through any kind of a uh, step by step, right? So this is what you know, the reason that I have seen. Third reason is basically you have a poor uh, programming knowledge. Guys, programming knowledge generally for automation tester that I have seen, you should have a decent knowledge for programming that you need to basically have it, right? But that I recommend all of my students to do hacker rank as well as lead code challenges also cyber side so that they can improve their programming also. Guys, if you want to start core Java and collection frame work in java box most of the time but you have to keep on improving yourself how to properly implement these things in the selenium framework automation framework or if you are doing with the mobile right how you have to implement uh, by using the apm also so pay attention to your programming language also fourth reason is basically lack of data structure and algorithm guys i highly recommend you to basically go to the educative.io they have a huge library of the questions in java also where they have a data structure basically done in the java also i would recommend you to read more about those questions how they have done it at least cover string arrays collections and queues and basics of it right at least cover them at least see all of them right so that, that's what you have to keep on doing even if you are an automation tester right i will recommend you to go to the website and do practice this is what i have done and still i also do it sometimes whenever i get a time right so keep learning is the most important things fifth reason is guys you are not able to properly explain your automation frameworks i would highly recommend you to watch multiple videos two three videos i have created how to explain your automation framework properly in an interview make sure you prepare well on this case sixth reason that i have seen is that people already have a automation knowledge but they are not aware about the manual testing concepts they don't know what exactly is a black book testing what are the different test design techniques like boundary value equivalence partitions they are not aware of it uh, state wise techniques pair wise and other things to so make sure you are also well versed about these technologies as well as the techniques because to become an automation great automation tester you have to have a foundation and the foundation is basically your manual testing concepts okay so pay attention to that seven thing is that i have known is that the ci cd things people are lacking behind in automation interview that they are giving they are aware about the selenium but they don't know how to run it properly on a ci cd platform for example they don't know what is a freestyle job they don't know what is a pipeline job right uh, in pipeline also we have scripted declarative they are not aware about it they don't know how to push and pull a code from a git which is again important they don't know the basic bash commands or a linux command right they 
are not aware about Docker, AWS, right? Where uh, whenever you they have like 7,000, 10,000 test cases of Selenium, how they will scale and run those, right? So they are not aware about it. So if you know about this concept, I would suggest you to just pay attention to the playlist section where I have created multiple videos around this. Please go ahead and learn about these important concepts, okay? Eighth reason is unprepared. You don't have a setup for automation in your laptop. So what happens is many times people ask you some question in interview that, okay, let's do this exercise. Let's run a hello world of Selenium. You don't have a setup on your system. Let me tell you, like I have taken more than like 300 interviews now. Almost like maximum people who have cracked the interview, they have already have a automation framework ready with the Eclipse open or IntelliJ open. And they have just plug and played and added some code and showcased me the demo, right? That's how they got selected. So if you want to increase your chances in automation to get selected, Selected, make sure you prepare a setup already, right? For example, you have IntelliJ ready and download some frameworks. I have shared multiple Selenium frameworks, right? Keep them handy whenever someone asks you a question. Just add a new file and showcase them that yes, I have a working project. This is what I have. Practice the coding question. You don't even try. So what happens is what I have seen is suppose I have given some programming question to the automation tester. For example, there was a guy who is manual uh, into manual testing. He had learned the concept of it, uh, automation. Now he wants to apply for it, right? So I have taken multiple interviews like this. But in coding, whenever I give them a uh, suppose a string reverse, I have given, right? They don't even try the brute force method, which is basically calculating a character length and reversing it. They don't even try the brute force, right? Method. So I would recommend you at least do something. Never give up never give up uh, i'm continuously teaching to these my students never give up give it a try if it is not working fine that's fine let them know that this is what i am thinking this is a pseudo code and if it is fine please let me know so 10 important reason which is basically basics of web automation concept in selenium jenkins and Git related you are missing guys for a automation tester even if you have one year two year if you're a fresher jumping into it anyhow you should know the three important thing which is git jenkins and selenium this is mandatory and add the projects into your github profile as well as a resume trust me you will be able to crack the automation interview this video is not about the exact uh, interview portions but also overall that you should know if you are taking anything from this video which i recommend is that have a setup of your automation ready have a knowledge of the three important concepts selenium jenkins and git third thing is that basically keep on practicing on hacker rank and lead code for your data algorithm data structures in java also if you're working in java python also so you can do that okay i hope this makes sense guys thanks a lot for watching this video if you want to do a challenges if you want to learn about api testing selenium and other things we are also launching multiple courses we have a job ready automation tester blueprint which is going going to be launched soon i am super excited where we have daily classes almost like saturday sunday sometimes we have we have lots of assignment code projects this is going to be live and let me know in the comment if you are interested just type interested in the comment i'll see you in the next video Bye.